Good morning, C-flap flaps, and Merry Christmas, and Happy Hanukkah, and any other, you know, holiday you celebrate, but I'm so excited to be with you during this very special time. I thought I'd take a little break from my quest and rest up a bit, since it's the holidays, and I don't know. But something that a couple of people have been asking me about is the stingray pattern for my crocheted stingray. And I really like this, you know, I saw some of the other ones that were on the internet and I mean no offense to their creators because they are interesting in their own way. It's just this, it doesn't look good to me. <laughs> it, it doesn't look anatomically correct. So I wanted to create a stingray pattern that was better. <laughs> I worked really hard and I was able to complete this and I really like it. There is just one problem that I have with it and that's it's one color and most stingrays are darker on the top and they're lighter on the bottom. So I'm going to try to make an anatomically correct up down to the color as well in this video, but I'll also be putting the pattern notes in the description for this, and if the multicolor stingray works out, then I'll be putting that one down there too. But hopefully it will work out, but we'll see. Just a quick side note, the pattern will also be available on Etsy in PDF format, and it would really help me if you bought it because then I can make more cool videos like this. Here I'm crocheting the two body parts in the charcoal and the bone yarn. I'm going to be cutting and fastening off the yarn and then sewing them together in the wing portion. Let's move on to the wings. We're going to leave the bottom three stitches undone and we're going to crochet 48 single crochet around the body flaps, sewing them together. I usually like to put two stitches in the corners, that way I can fit 48 single crochet all around. Before finishing the single crochet, we're going to put the safety eyes and the stuffing inside of the stingray. Once we're done with that, then we'll go ahead and crochet it all up. Just make sure you don't up.
Without cutting the lighter yarn, we're going to move on to single crocheting both of the wing flaps together by single crocheting in every single stitch that we made. when you're done. Trying to design the tail was probably the hardest part of this creation. I'm still not very happy with it. I tried many different ways to make it look good, but the best that I could think of was to put three lighter stitches and then put three darker stitches and then every three rounds put a new stitch but that made the yarn look weird um, but at this point i had spent way too much time doing this pattern that i was falling behind on my youtube schedule so it is what it is if you can make it look better then please send me pictures of it and tell me what you did because it's it, it 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 did not work how I wanted it to work. <laughs> for better or for worse, this is how it ended up looking. I embroidered a little face on the belly and I think it's pretty cute. <laughs> 